St. Paul Public Schools is a rich mixture of diverse students, dedicated teachers and staff, and a strong community that shares one goal, to inspire students to think critically, pursue their dreams, and change the world. We serve more than 35,000 students and our annual budget is more than $750 million. Our funding comes from several sources, including the state of Minnesota, the U.S. government, local sources like property taxes and the operating referendum, and the sale of capital bonds. So we know where the money comes from, but how is it distributed to our 58 schools? In the spring of each year, school administrators are given a budget toolkit which identifies the sources of funding for their academic program. Principals have a limited amount of discretionary funds dependent upon the student demographics within their building. Each student enrolled in a school represents about $6,000 of general education revenue. In addition, compensatory revenue is received based on the enrollment of the students eligible for free and reduced lunch during the previous school year. Additional money is received from state and federal resources for special education students, multilingual learners, and students who qualify for Title I funding. Like many school districts in Minnesota, SPPS faces funding challenges. Inadequate state and federal funding over the past 20 years have contributed to funding challenges. The passage of the referendum in November of 2018 increased funding for SPPS, allowing the district to avoid major shortfalls for the 2019-20 school year. As we've taken measures to remain fiscally responsible, our focus has always been and continues to be on minimizing a negative impact on classrooms. So how does a school decide where to spend its money for next school year? Most of the money a school receives is categorical funding, which means it is already committed to be spent on particular items or services. These commitments are determined by contracts negotiated with the teachers' union and other district unions, the district's commitment to maintaining smaller class sizes, and other district commitments and priorities that include funding to implement the SPPS Achieves Strategic Plan, improve school climate, provide specialists in art, gym, and music, and provide other support as determined by a school's needs. If you have questions about your school's budget, contact your school's principal. Please remember that above all, a thoughtfully prepared budget must ensure that resources are allocated to meet the needs of all learners and contribute to building a school community in which all members feel welcome, valued, and supported. When considering a school's budget, good questions to consider include, how is the budget aligned with student achievement? How do class size limits affect the school? How will specialists be chosen? For more budget information, visit spps.org budget or your school's website.